What's up guys, I'm Sanfadi here, back with another video. This video is going to be one of a sensitive topic, why people are leaving Star Stable. I will be talking about multiple topics throughout this video. If you want to skip the certain ones, it will be in the description box. Topic 1 is weekly updates. I think Star Stable is putting too many unnecessary weekly updates into the game. Here are a few. Yeah, okay, you probably get the point. But seriously, so many unnecessary updates. More horses of the same model and animations as ones already in the game with just a little bit of difference? There's a reason behind this though. Star Stable lost its animator in January, and apparently they haven't gotten a new one yet. That can explain why they are being so lazy with the horses they are releasing. The Star Stable staff is small, but that's no excuse for holding up the storyline. The main storyline ends around level 17, then it's on to reputation for you. And don't think about going to emailing Star Stable about why you can't get any more quests. I've already tried that, trust me, it does not work. They just email you back with an automated response saying, We are always working on weekly new updates. Please check back soon. And now onto the one of the biggest reasons why people are quitting. How Star Stable is an endless money pitch. They always have some sort of deal going on to get you to buy Star Coins. And they're freaking expensive! Do you know how many things I could buy with $30? A lot! And it somewhat bothers me that people want to spend that much on a pixelated horse or some items in a game. And it doesn't end there. Star Stable's highest price for Star Coins and such is over $100. And you might think it's a good deal, but it's not. Yeah, I know it's cheaper than buying $200 worth of 2,000 Star Coins to equal 10 Star Coins in a lifetime membership, but star coins run out fast. If I was one of those YouTubers that constantly had to have 10,000 star coins, I'd be homeless. It's an endless money pit. They keep releasing horses so you want to buy star coins. Then poof, they get loads of money. I wonder what they use all that money for, because I don't see anything significant in the game. The next topic. The game is just plain boring. I mean, once you've reached level 18. That's somewhat changed with the new Pandaria update, which I've stated before and I'll state it again. I love it. Only thing is, it's not available to everyone level 17 to 20. You have to have reputation have done certain quests. Apparently I haven't done that because I didn't get them. Once you have done all your quests, the game is boring! The only thing to do is train your horses. And when you've done with that, you could glitch until you get banned. That's a nice way to quit. Although you could just quit, but make sure to get everybody's digits first. And that's some of the biggest reasons, in my opinion of course, to why people have started quitting Star Stable. I personally have not found a completely valid reason to quit. I hope you guys joined the video, and make sure to like and subscribe. Jazzy out!